And while you're updating, uh, this is Wormhole Pinball, and we are so proud and excited to be hosting the Texas Pinball Festival, and this is the Classics Final. So we got a player starting right now, and that is... Is that Steven? So. Yes, that should be Steven. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that's, that's actually Mark Gunter. Oh, you know what? Uh, why is Mark Gunter... Well, not here. The players are... The player order is wrong on the screen. Oh, goodness. It's good to know I'm not the only one that can make a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it's. Um, check with Colin. They're not allowed to do a practice round or any of that. <laughs> this is work. Work. This is go time. Thank you, uh, the un it, uh, unroot effect. We appreciate you. If the players did not play, uh, it did not. I don't know. How, I don't know what Colin read the rules for. Um, my assumption is that they would not get practice. And Mark is not playing as though he is practicing. Oh, no, he's it's go time. Yeah, he's, he's in, in the zone. So this is actually Mark Meserve up now. Um, he's going to be going for the drop targets uh, at the t upper left. He's trying to backhand it there. Ooh. Nice little shimmy, but I believe he took he a, t a tilt. Yeah, he, yeah, tilted he tilted that. Uh, he, he was able to dig it out. So th what players are going to generally be doing on this game is shooting for those uh, drop targets in the upper left, and that's going to build the bonus multiplier. And then there's a a little uh, piston, like a Metallica piston shot on the right, and that's a, a little saucer that's going to collect bonus. So you basically build up the bonus, collect the bonus, rinse okay. and repeat. Uh, it's if you can get locked into a rhythm on this game, you can you can easily roll it. I think that's the rules in this game. It's, okay. it's been a while. Feels good to roll one of these. <laughs> it's pretty darn exciting. I take a picture and I put it on pins, uh, Pindigo. Mm -hmm. A quick read on uh, on pin tips um, says that a decent strategy is to shoot the right saucer, catch it on the right flipper, tap pass to the left flipper, and repeat. Okay. Do that and you'll score well. All right, there you go. Thanks, John. One strategy, anyway. Yeah. You could talk a little louder. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Probably put that closer to your face. Yeah. That sounds better. That sounds better. Yeah. We don't have this stuff at the wormhole. Bob. No, we don't. Okay. No, we don't. <laughs> right? Okay. This is all new. So this is this is some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, this is, so I think yeah. we're going to be writing Phil a check. Uh -huh. Okay? When he, we leave here, yeah. right? He's off mic so we can talk right now because he's like our producer okay. for the show. Yeah. And... Uh, there we go, right? So uh, this could, could be coming to the wormhole, this great equipment. It's pretty exciting. It's very. Except the keyboard. That's not coming to the wormhole. <laughs> that thing is weird. That's a, that's a very <laughs> strange keyboard he's got going on. Okay, here we go. So that's strange, the two uh, saucers on the top to spit out, like the, the Paragon saucers, but now they got three up top there. You see that? That's yeah. strange. Wow. Sorry about that. Uh, You're all right. Tournament director stuff going on. Very important. Very important. I still don't know how you try to do all this. Being a tournament director, trying to play, being a top player in the world, and it's just—it's it, it's too amazing. much. It's, it's too much. Um, well, uh, I have a little help from my friend yeah. methamphetamine. Oh, there you go. Just kidding. No, uh, Adderall? No, no. No? Okay, good. None of that. No. We don't need that stuff. I'm, a, I'm a, just a coffee drinker. There you go. Although I recently rediscovered Red Bull. I, I, uh, I, I found it to be very uh, very relaxing. Yeah. yeah. Anybody that watches the wormhole knows that Jamie doesn't need any more <laughs> caffeine. And I get, yet I continue to do it. Good ball here. Yeah. Whoops. I keep popping my peas. Yeah, yeah. Just, just turn that shit down. I will turn it down. Oh, I mean, stop. I'm sorry. Don't I've worry. been at a pinball convention all weekend where people just let the curse words fly willy-nilly. It's rubbing it off on me. Well, that's interesting. So the right, lower right flipper is getting stuck up a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a l very dangerous because what will happen is players will try and dead bounce it, and it'll just completely kill the momentum of the ball. Okay. Swearing at the machine is optimal. I call that pinball language. That's what I do. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. 
That, uh, that looked like it almost had like a backspin on it, uh, and and then it just reversed directions yeah. entirely. Oh, that was interesting. That was some some strange physics right there. Uh, somebody asked, who are the top players, Phil? Uh, can you ask that Geek Gamer 38 now? Who are the, some of the top players here today? Ooh, good question. Uh, and a uh, hard one to hard yeah. one to answer we don't leave out, with, right? without offending some folks. But um, uh, let's see. Well, of course, uh, Colin McAlpine, the, the tournament director, is here, uh, yeah. top player. We got Jermaine Mariol. We got Raymond Davidson. Uh, we got Bob Matthews, former Classics champion at, at Texas Pinball Festival. Uh, unfortunately, didn't qualify this year. He'll be on the mic later. Okay. Bob Matthews is uh, probably the the uh, probably the 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 I don't know the the, the classics uh, genius of the world. The I don't know. He, he wrote the encyclo. He literally wrote the encyclopedia of the classics games, the EM encyclopedia. Why don't we invite him over for a little chat? He's gonna he's gonna come onto the booth for the uh, semifinals and finals. Oh, of the, awesome. oh that's so he'll be in. Cool. He'll be in. Good. Uh, wealth of knowledge. He, he wouldn't be s stumbling over the rules like we are here. Mm -hmm. He knows every single game in and out. Awesome. Uh, who else do we have on the list? No, no Escher. Uh, uh, we got Robert Byers. Uh, we got, hold on. I, the, the other thing I'll say is you ask me how I do this stuff. Uh, my memory during these things, like, completely is destroyed. I cannot recall things that happened to me two minutes ago. It's like I'm a goldfish. You're I've a goldfish. Got, <laughs> got too much stuff on my brain. Great, great line from a great show. For our, uh, those that don't know, that show is called, uh, what is that soccer show? Oh, the bad drain right down the middle. Unlucky. Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso, darn <laughs> it. Gosh, was that from it. Ted Lasso? Yeah, was, Ted Lasso. I, I wasn't making a pop culture wow, reference. Yeah. You didn't even know you were doing it, Phil, but you are. Ted Lasso, very famous show on uh, Apple TV. Is Eric Stone here? Did you say that already? Uh, no Eric Stone. No Eric Stone. Uh, we would know if Eric Stone was here. You could probably hear him in the background. I'm just looking around the room right now. The thing is it's uh, it's. It's 9.30 in the yeah, morning. Unless people have to be here, they're, they're in bed, hopefully. Ah, yes, okay. Okay, great. How do you say, how do you pronounce that? Trump, Trumpanch. Trumpanchy? Trumpanchy? Is that like Trumpanzy? Trump Trumpanchy. That's Travis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he has that. I know it's Travis. I just don't know what it means or what it is, how to pronounce it. All right, we're, we're ignoring the game. Yeah, we're being I terrible apologize. Commentators. Don't get caught down our wormhole. Come on, <laughs> Phil. Keep <laughs> oh, it together. Oh, the wormhole is a Yeah, it back. happens. Uh, we're on player two. Mark Meserve. I do have the players updated now. This okay, is good. indeed Mark Meserve, player two. He's sitting at 75 in third place. Uh, but all the scores are pretty tight. Um, this, could, this could go either way. And we're on ball three. Okay. He's thinking about it. Plunges, and he misses those saucers. Yeah. Let's see if he tries to ski jump, and he makes the ski yeah. jump. Goes around the little horseshoe, and oh. he's... Oh. oh, wow, that was great. Oh, got too loud there. I got excited. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. You got to put your NPR O on, you know. I got my O. <laughs> it's too, too excitable. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, that was my beautiful. Goodness. Oh, my gosh. Can we get a clip of that? That, that was beautiful. Just incredible. Sh he, but yeah. what, this is the most exciting ball so far. Yeah. And he we had a Lazarus. Off of that metal, off that he, metal needs to, he needs to slow it down and take a deep breath right now. I, I would be absolutely shaking right now if that just happened to me. Shaking. Like a little leaf. I would call everyone over <laughs> and, and let them know. I need to make a ruling. Excuse okay, me. Okay. I'll take it from here but he is having a great ball John Spates yes he is indeed. he's really having a good ball but he I'll tell you what he did a shimmy he did everything and then he stopped 
and took a deep breath. That's yeah. Yeah. One of the things when I first started playing pinball, because I'm fairly new, John, right? And you're one of the biggest persons that got me into it, uh, was slowing it down. That was the first thing I tried to learn, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you for that clip. That was that is awesome. Paisley, oh, cool. thank you. Slowing it down was number one for me, mm -hmm. right? I saw me get much better from slowing it down. Mm -hmm. Then it was nudging. Yep, yep. Okay. I remember when you would you would barely even I, touch I, the machine. I, 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 yeah. And now I'm tilting too much, yep. okay, uh, because hey. I'm nudging, right? Uh -huh. So, but he is but having you're playing a, better. I'm you're playing, playing better. better. I'm playing better. Oh, nice save. He's playing. What my next thing I need to do is the bounce is the dead bounce, exactly. and I don't have it in my arsenal. Oh, he couldn't oh. save it this yep. time, but you know what? Didn't he didn't want to lose the tilt. Yep. He didn't want to lose the bonus. Good, really good ball. Mark from reserve. Well done. That was fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, we got to take that clip, put that on Wormhole, because that was great. That was really, that was really cool. That was a nice save. Yeah. All right, so Sunshine is up right now. That hey, was good. That was awesome. Hey, Mark, we got a clip of it. We got a clip of that. We got a clip of it. We, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. It was awesome. Super great. He came over for some props, and he deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. That was really good. So it's we're wearing headphones, so it's difficult for us to hear. And if we didn't have headphones, it would be ridiculous because not only we have the Clax tournament, and Sunshine's up right now, but we also have people uh, still participating in the Wizards. Oh, she got a drainage right mm -hmm. down the middle. Mm -hmm. Do you find in a tournament when you're playing that when a guy puts a monster in front of you, yeah. a girl guy puts a monster in front of you, how hard is it for you to concentrate coming up and, the, and everything's warm, right? He's been on it for 20 minutes. It's tough. It's tough. I struggle. Yeah, it's tough for sure. I struggle. Okay, here is Steven. This is ball three. So he has secured second, and now he's got a rally cap and see if I can come and take down Mark. Yep. Oh, boy. There yep. you go. Keeping it alive. Oh, all right. Okay, so Mark is going to get the first. Second is Steve Campbell. Third look is uh, Sunshine. And first. Well, there, I haven't even seen a Sea Ray in the show, so I don't think there's one in the okay. building. No, I, do, I do not think there is a Sea Ray in the building. I did go down to the show last night for a while and you did? wander around things. Yeah. yeah, Jeff on? Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, as usual, there were some games that were not working properly. Or Of course. I actually broke one. I was playing, uh, which one was it? I think there were there were a couple where there were duplicates. There were I think there was uh, a couple of kisses, mm -hmm. and there were a couple of um, nitro ground shakers, and I pl was playing one of the nitro ground shakers, and the ball popped up into the plastic and broke it right above the oh, no. right, right above the saucer where you collect your bonus and advance your bonus on the oh, upper no. left. So I was like, okay, turn it off and yeah. find the owner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going on Ali here. Like I say, it's those uh, three drop targets at the upper left that should be people. Okay, he's got his one one set of them there These for three bonus. Drop targets here? No, no, it's yeah. the three at the very oh, right upper right left there. by the horseshoe. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to get first, because like I say, those are your bonus multiplier. And this is Raymond Davidson yep. playing. Yep. Yeah, Raymond and I are old acquaintances. Nice catch there. Okay, yeah. so that's his second set. So now he's got three tech, three X bonus. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna try and just keep it moving. That was a fortunate feed there. Power in lane. Oh, nice little bank shot. That yeah, was on, nice. On, yeah, not see on, on a lot of Ali's you can backhand those drop targets, uh -huh. but on this one the way the slingshot hangs over the left flipper is just enough that it's really not a safe shot, especially for the. Um, you might be able to get the rightmost one, but the other two, it's really hard to get them unless you have it, you know, like roll on the flipper and then come back. So he's it's also yeah. yeah, and I'm also guessing that he might have been trying to get the uh, collect bonus oh, there. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, that could have been a, a bank shot, but I'm more. It's probably more likely he was trying to do a collect bonus shot and just you know just aimed low, or just missed low rather. But like I say, he went in there. But like I say, he's, he's in decent shape now because he has three x bonus that's going to carry over to the last two balls. Uh, up comes John and, and, Ross. A, and a decent point value too. So that that gives him a de good edge. And the unusual thing about this Ali, those three top saucers, A L I. The ball actually doesn't settle in them um, as high a percentage of the time as it does on a typical Ali. It, it, for whatever reason, it, it rims out a little bit more okay. than most Ali's. It's not a big deal, but you know, it's it's nice when it settles into it. Yeah. it, it, it feels like you're a little more in control. Mm -hmm. See, like there, it just it just you know Rolled rimmed right out. out yeah. yeah, yeah. And when it, it comes out like that, it's more likely to go off in strange directions. Okay, completed his first bank of targets. Yep. Cradle up. Going for him. Second bank for yep. 3x. Ooh, Ooh nice save. Yeah, see, now on some machines, you know, someone would, you know, back there, they would have let that dead bounce. But since what he wants most right now is the drop targets, and that was the flipper he wanted to shoot him with, rather than let it dead bounce, he just you know one-timed it. Yeah, that's awesome skill to be able to just think about that instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Right through the letters there. Yeah, like I say, it does it a little more often on this one than on most. Oh, okay. oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. That hurt. Kind of a not quite sling. There are some Ali's where you can actually go for the lower three bank and make a com kind of a combination bank shot off of those into your multiplier this targets. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work that well on this one, which is why you'll see people shooting the, the multiplier targets direct rather than trying to bank them off the targets over by greatest there. Nice backhand there. Yeah. But you, know, you have to do that as it's you know coming into the flipper. If you're from a cradle... It's not that reliable. Oh, so, great. Yep, but he's got his 5x now, so now it's just build up bonus and collect it. And the build up is kind of just keep the ball and play and hit things. And the collected is on the right. The collect is the saucer on the right, yeah. Dalton's having a tough time so, getting over the umbrella, oof. sorry. Yeah. It's a nice umbrella. So, yeah, he tried to get the collect there, but hit the post just above it and got, you know, drained out the right outline. It is a fairly tight shot. The feed from it's pretty nice when you shoot the collect, because on most alleys, including this one, it'll come out and you can generally trap it up on the right flipper. Thank you, Dom. Oh, oh John. nasty feed. I'm not gonna say it, but you know what it is. I'm lucky. He's doing okay. He's doing okay. Vulture. Yep, like I said, you can get that right one, but that's about it from the backhand. And unfortunately, that horseshoe sometimes will drain when you go around it in either direction, by the way. So it is a bit risky when it goes around the horseshoe. That's nice. Okay, the, the, the three Ali's advance the value of the center saucer. The L one. Again, you can get that rightmost target, oh, but oh, oh, that hurt. yep. But really, that rightmost target is about the only one you can backhand from that left flipper. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Jim. Good morning. Oh, that's Jim. Yeah. Okay, that's the one he can get. Not quite. Dribbles out. That's the one reachable target from the backhand. We need to get you a uh, an ability to write on the screen. We'll get that next time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Car okay. Carl's Carl's got that. You know, with his setup. Well, you know, there. Uh, obviously. But, you know, but Carl's setup is kind of you know like the state of the art at this point. So, kudos to Carl. We have aspirations. Uh, hey, the more people that get it to that level, the better. 
So he's got his multiplier out now, yeah. Yep, he's got 5x. Right. And he's he's right. going to try and collect, I'm assuming. Nope. Just a hair low. Like I say, it is a tight shot. Just mm -hmm. a hair low again. Oh, so he's backing that off. Going to try one more time here. That's true. I, I would just go for the, uh, the great the greatest there. Yeah, basically, if it's on the right flipper, just go for greatest. I see. Okay. While you're oh, oh great got a, ball, got a little ahead of it, but yeah, got ahead of it there. Really good ball. But you can see even Raymond is struggling with making ball. that you know mm -hmm. that that collect shot because of how tight that shot is. It, it takes a while to get dialed in on it because it's so narrow. He's got a pretty good lead. Yep. But no lead is safe on Ali just because of that collect bonus saucer. You know, you get up to 5x and you know start collecting bonuses. Oh, you can, um, you, you can blow it. You can blow it up on one ball. John. All right, here comes Steven. Dalton, thank you for all your help tonight. You are like my uh, producer in my ear. I'm just reading. Uh, and again, he swung a little early and f kind of froze the ball and yeah. let it drain there. That, that's that's what happens when you swing a hair early. All right, Garrett, let's go. He's had two house balls. Oof. I would have let that dead bounce, but okay. He's, after two house balls, he's probably a little, you uh, know. A little yeah. gun shy. Yeah, yeah, it's like, I want to make sure I flip. <laughs> Hard to blame Take him. Take a deep breath. Okay, again, he got the one you can backhand. Now he needs to get the two with the forehand there, uh -huh. the middle and the left one. Play it, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I would almost go for the collect there. Yeah, okay, just just nice. to use it to transfer the ball to the right flipper sure. for exactly for what shot. he did there, for well that done. shot there. Yeah, well yeah. Done. Ooh, good save. Because that's, I mean, you know, you can't post pass that well on most dollies, and if you can do that collect shot, nice. you know, basically it's a, it's a transfer oh. with value. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Not enough to get up the second, though. No. No fishtails. No nope. fishtails in the room. Nope. So that means our score is going to be Raymond with eight, Steven with three, Garrett with one, and John with two. Raymond's guaranteed to go through, and the others, it's basically a toss up. All right, let's switch eight, it back. Eight three, eight three two one. Let's switch it back. You want me to be in the middle? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You want to come all the way out. to the right? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Now at this point, you know Raymond, since he's guaranteed to go through, you know he could go first or la you know or last, doesn't really matter. He's just kind of you know playing to stay loose and get the feel for the game for the next round. And then I could turn you on so that nobody can hear the whistling. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. I mean, is Phil Grimaldi the best? Raymond. The nice job. Raymond, how are you? You did great. And let me turn this on here. Oh, was it good carpet? Uh, here comes Ali. Well, it was just, it was just something that kind of everybody recognized. Uh, just like in Banning, you know, the benches we had in Banning there at the at the pinball museum that were all, you know, custom pinball, oh, yes. you know, all custom pinball wrap bench, you know, benches. You know, everybody recognized those and really like it. Captain's uh, picked up a bunch of those that he has at the warehouse now. His auction oh, warehouse. Cool. Yeah, he's got a bunch of them at the warehouse. Okay, here is I, Ali. I, I, did, I didn't ask for the terms. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we're back on Ali, and it's land of uh, get your multiplier targets there. And again, it's hard to get anything other than the rightmost one with a backhand. You're pretty much committed to forehand shooting to get your multiplier up on Ali, at least on this one. Like I said, you, you can attempt to do you know, like a little pushback, you know, with the flipper, but it's it's not really that reliable. Yeah, maybe maybe we should have a uh, a separate uh, all fighter pinball bank sometime. We'll get Ali and Rocky 
and WWF. Actually, both both versions of wrestling. You know, both the old uh, what was it, Data East one. Yeah. And uh, Oops. You know, and the newer Stern. Uh, but you know, get get all the fighters together. Street Fighter two. You know, basically get you know have a bank that's all fighter games. That's fun. Title fight. I like title fight. Yeah, title fight. Yeah. Champions Pub. Did you say? Yeah, Champs Pub. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come. Gottlieb knockout. Yeah. Yeah, because basically you you could have you know a good representation of different eras with all fight games. Yeah. So again, he, uh, so I think he was trying to use the uh, collect as the ball transfer there for a minute. Uh oh, yeah, almost tilted. Yeah. But again, when you lose control like that, you don't know where it's going to go. Got league tag team wrestling. I really like tag team. You did. I, I was yeah. I, I hadn't played that until a couple of years ago. I just got you know, is it some tournament I was in and I had never seen one before, but I kind of got to have, you know to like it. Cool. Just you know, it had interesting shots and strategy. It's like yeah, I kind of you know, this this game's cool. You know, I have not, you know. Rumors to the contrary, I have not played every game that there is. Oh. Almost, but. Almost, I, right? Yeah. It, it, you know, ign ignoring the ones from, you know, like, you know, mid-60s and back, you know, where they, there wasn't much going on. Right. But, yeah, the newer ones, you know, in including a whole bunch of the weird ones, you know, because uh, I've been to places where, you know, people with interesting collections. Okay, let's get back to the game Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So Jermaine's got some work to do. So he's got his first set of targets. And again, it's hard to get that backhand, so you need to find some way. Oh, you managed to get the middle one. Nice job. Bob, give me one second. I'll be right back, sir. Sure. Do you mind being solo for a minute? I'll fly solo. Okay, thank you, sir. Look out, look out. They probably could have saved that with a different nudge, but it's hard to guess the exact nudge when the ball's doing that. Obviously, that was the wrong one, but when you have a fraction of a second, it's sometimes hard to tell exactly what the right one is. So back to Raymond. He's going to let that, that bounce. I thought he might let that, that bounce, but... And the bumper decided bye-bye. Bumpers do that. See what Garrett can get going here. I don't believe he has any multipliers yet. And he still doesn't. That's not good. No multipliers for two balls. And that much points. Could still come back, but you don't like to be in a hole. And again, they're playing fast here. Keith plunging right away. Yeah, see, he wasn't able to get any more targets there because it just doesn't want to backhand that far to the left. So, yeah, he, he realized that and decided, okay, I'll try and switch to collect bonus for ball transfer. Oh, couldn't quite grab it at the tip. Because, again, he, you know, he wants the ball on the right flipper now. Oh, where did I sit? Okay, maybe somebody nudged the camera. What happened to our signal? There we go. It, it's things like this. Uh, in my guide, I've got something that says, you know, go to flipper. As in, you know, which flipper you want the ball on. If you, you know, if you have the opportunity to either catch it or dead bounce and get it on either one. And Ali is one of those games where there's definitely a go to flipper. And until your bonus is built up. You want the ball on the right flipper because you want to get your multiplier targets. Once you've got your bonus max, then you want to get it to the left flipper to shoot the collect saucer there like the ball's in right now. And again, he got it out in front of that a little bit, and the ball drained because he killed the momentum and had just enough to creep off the edge of the flipper. And I have a new companion in the booth here. You want to introduce yourself?
Um, I don't know which one controls your mic volume. Maybe this guy. Ah, there we go. There we go. Hi there, Bob. Hello. Joined like I say, introduce yourself to the crowd here. Oh uh, yeah, my name is uh, Mark Meserve. I uh, got knocked out in the quarterfinals here in Classics from Austin. And, uh, You're local, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 Austin, Texas. Yeah. Not too far off from here, at okay. least as far as Texas goes. Yeah. What do we got going on on Ali? Uh, well, Raymond's, Raymond and Keith are in good shape. Garrett's in a deep hole because he has both low score and no multiplier. And I've been telling folks that... Uh, you know, this is one of those games where it's it's a go-to flipper. You want it on the right flipper until your bonus is maxed, and then you want it on the left to collect. And generally, you know, people spend most of their game trying to actually get the multiplier maxed out. So it's it's going to be right flipper oriented for a long time. And on this one, I've, I've noticed that you, basically you can't backhand reliably anything more than the right hand most of those three targets. So you're basically committed to using that right flipper because you can't backhand it from the left. Yeah. So a exactly. lot of folks get it on the left flipper, and then it's like, what do I do with it? You know, yeah. The, you, you try and backhand, and it doesn't work, and then you risk having the, you know, the, the shot hit the bumper or the, the post next to the horseshoe there and go out of control. But then if you try shooting the collect bonus saucer to transfer the ball, which works fine when you make it, if you miss that, it goes out of control. Yeah. So there's a lot of folks struggling, you know, when they have it on the left flipper of, you know, how do I get it where I need to safely? Because Ollie's never been a great game for tap passing. No, and this one, uh, uh, the flippers are kind of touchy on it, I found. And yeah. You can't really get it, yeah. get it to go over. Yeah. That said, the, the feed out of that right saucer is pretty nice. Yeah, the feed out of the saucer, you can almost always <laughs> trap up. Right. So I'm wondering, with you know, these scores aren't crazy. Do you think Jermaine here just maybe just tries to get some cheap collects and pull ahead that way? Um, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens when Keith is done. And then I ha I don't remember offhand uh, what Jermaine's multiplier status is. Yeah. Yeah, if it's again, 2x. They, again, he, he almost froze the ball out in front of him there for a drain, but yeah. he just recovered. Because uh, if you swing early, you can kill the momentum, and the ball will just kind of go fraction of an inch and drain on you. Yeah, but he had that second flip. So again, now there. he's got a left flipper. What do I do? He takes the collect, which if you make the shot, that's the best choice. Ooh. He flips away the, the return, though. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to end up somewhere in the high twos. 264. So Jermaine needs enough that he really can't try and collect out. He's got to go for some more multiplier here. If you're looking at his score, I would say he probably needs to get to 4x before he starts going for collects. By the time he gets to 4x, he'll probably have the base bonus built enough that you know 4x would be worth something. But you know, right. with as many advances as he would have in the process of getting there, but probably can't try and collect out before 4x and, and get enough at this point. We'll see. All right. Yeah, I fixed the uh, the player order there. Uh, okay. We were on the previous game. Oh, okay. So that's not correct. Okay. So like I say, I, I, I would go for 4x before I'd start collecting right now. Mm. Ah. Uh, but when it does that, it's moot. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's no collect. Bye-bye. He does gain one point off of this bonus collect, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Don't, don't tilt that. Stones and Solar Ride. They are not Although, frankly, around. I'd go the other way. Do you have an external speaker, either Bluetooth or wire, that I could hook up to my laptop and get sound for the commentary in another room? It's fine if you don't. Have I don't have it. Okay, we're getting a question from our tournament director, Colin, here. Hang on. What is Sinbad? Great. Fortunate to not get an up and out there. Nice dead bounce. Okay. And he's got one target left to, oh, he missed it. He was, there he, oh, he's got it on the lucky rebound. Okay, you sometimes the bumper does you a favor. And that's 2x for the rest of the game. Yep. Getting good props on the commentary. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Not from me, but from these two. So, and, and again, you're gonna see people, pre, you know, preferentially getting the ball to the right flipper because you can't really backhand all three of the drop targets from the left. And these the saucers are all worth 5,000 uh, because he finished the set. Yep. Not bad. 
So Raymond wins this, it's over basically, right? I mean, uh, no, it's not over if Keith gets second, Keith gets second. because then it would be 8-4, okay. and so Keith would have a chance to tie if he won the last game and Raymond got last the last game. But if yeah. Raymond wins this game, the worst he can do is a tie for yeah, right. uh, is a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah. Ray Raymond's opting to put his left flipper into the bonus collect now. Um, he did get three X off yeah, of that. Yeah, because he's so. got tw he's got twenty thousand base and three X, so that's you know sixty. Yeah, plus definitely. whatever he gets between now and when he actually starts doing it, so he can, right. he, can he can try collecting out at any point. Four uh, X now, definitely. Yeah. So, it, very so at, this, at this point, if he's got it on the right, or excuse me, on the left flipper, he's going to go for the collect. And on the right flipper, he's just going to try and finish him one more time to get the five. Yeah, he's just, just kind of letting it pick which flipper he's going to go from. But either one is good. You know, bonus multiplier is already in. And since in. he finished the Ali targets, or excuse me, Ali saucers a second time, those are now worth 10,000. Uh, very nice. So that's maxed out. He's having trouble finding it. It is pretty low on that flipper. Yeah. There, there it is. is. Ooh, ooh. It's going to be some points, damage. Points, 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 points. Yeah, it's going to be over 100,000. He's still going. Yep. And, and we'll stays. see if he traps up. Yep, he traps up on the right as expected. And then tries to finish the target bank to get the 5x. And he's probably going to try and collect again here. We would nice like shot. that. Oh, yep, man. yep, yep. This this is uh, clinical here. Trap up and try and shoot that last drop target on the left for 5x next. And I know this is not always there you go. first time on stream, but. There you go. If and you, there is his target for 5x, dead bounce. If you did not tune in earlier, your bonus count does not reset after you get this collect bonus. Okay. Yep. So now he's at 5x of the count he had previously, which it looks like. He's oh, got yeah. twenty thousand and some change. Yep. Yeah. And so that, he's gonna yeah. And the five X stays. The five X stays. So he just builds base and collects the rest of the game, and he's gonna have a huge score already on ball one. Great yep. score. Dropping the six twenty six thirty. Yep. There it is. Yeah, he had like twenty seven or something in Man. base, whatever it Times was. Times five, yeah. Times five, yeah. And uh, yeah, now everyone's <clears throat> playing catch up. Yep. But, I mean, the scoring on this game, while it is a bonus game, because of that bonus collect, right, you can have an infinite ball and just, like, keep scoring your points. Yeah. So no one's out of this um, just because, like, you, you have the 5x on ball one. That said, it is a nice advantage. Announce your presence with authority right off the bat. All right. Yeah. Catch me if you can. And then, you know, ball two, player two, Keith, you know, drains right away. You yeah. Know, it, I hate following someone that puts up a monster. Right. <laughs> I, I lose it. Yeah. Yeah, Dalton, that's also a good point. E even if you have the 5X, if you're getting house balls, you don't get anything for it. That happens in qualifying, too. Yeah. You know, you, the guy in front of you puts up a good score, and then you get house balled. It's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Especially if they got, you know, a bunch of power in lanes or other right, you're fortunate like, oh. things. It's like, well, I can get some of those, right? Yeah, and then you get two flips the whole game. And yeah, and then you're, you're playing and, like, it's like, yeah, Pat Lauer called. He said, uh, we can't do that anymore, so sorry. <laughs> Zach off to a pretty good start here. Has two targets down in the bank. Gets that third. Okay, so now he's got 3x. Oh, good save. Nice save. Yeah. That was very close to the center drain. We saw Keith uh, lose it too, but just had a little more strength on it. Oh. And there's that rubber in the in lane, deflects it, and it goes in the out lane. But he does have 3x's base. <coughs> Gets a little mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So at least, you know, he's, he's got two sets out of the way. Yeah, the returns from that drop target bank are, are not great. Like, once you get your 5x, like, eh, I'm not yeah, gonna, I'm not going back up there. There's no reason to, anyway. Yeah. You know, if, if you're not comfortable transferring at that point, you know, you go for the greatest, which is decent points. Right, and that builds, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. 
That's the, the left lane that Bob's referring to there. Yeah. yeah. You get points per letter of greatest right, that Points you have. per letter of greatest. So if you're not if you've got it on the right flipper and your bonus is already maxed and you're not you haven't nice. found a good way to transfer it, just shoot that. Alright, Sebastian knows what to do here. Goes okay. for the back end and gets the middle target gets off the middle the top one. End. We've, we've seen that a few times, but not that often. Yeah. Most of the time, you won't go further than the right one. Ooh. No in lane, out lane. Good. It thought about it. It went it, over. Yes, it definitely thought about it. <laughs> I'm going to get you guys that QRC code. Give me a second. All right. I'm going to uh, post it. And here he's doing subtle nudges off the slings to try and have it not go into the lane. Out lane yeah, lane. it's hit, hitting the rubber right above. As long as you're on the side, it'll go back in. Yep. yep. But as soon as it hits that bottom side, like you said, it just dunks itself right in. Ooh, well, that was risky. Because, <laughs> yeah, that horseshoe I, shot can drain you. I think he's going for the turn as far as I know. Well, you can sometimes, you know, basically the, the three bank outside the greatest lane there, a lot of times you can have a shot that'll deflect off of those into the multiplier targets. Mm. It doesn't do it as often on this Ali, I found, as on a lot of other Ali's I've played, but you know, it, it is a feasible option. Yeah, we've seen a, a, lot, of deflection, a lot of deflections from uh, on the top of the left drop target bank there, mm -hmm. bop, pops into the target bank. But yeah, the horseshoe itself is not really feeding those. Ooh. Hey, you can keep it. That was, a, that was a little sling helping out. Well, like I said, I've, I've seen that bank shot before off the right sling into the targets. It, yeah. It, it will do that. The slings are surprisingly friendly on here. Yeah, yeah. You get it caught in there and there, it's there are a couple of There are a couple of games where actually banking it off the slingshot is a strategy. Yeah. Yeah, we're, now he's We're, we're talking it. you and high hand, Josh. <laughs> You're never going to yes, let him forget there, it. Yes, there is no high hand in this bank. Yes. Thank God. I, I haven't seen one in the show either, so. Good. <laughs> no doodle bug either. Some of no, his favorite. <laughs> no, no, yeah, neither, neither doodle. <clears throat> All right. Okay. We got some Forex collects. So we Sebastian is, is yeah, starting and to he's, get he's got his Yeah, and he's got his multiplier progress, you know, getting up there too, so. Yeah, he, he is starting to get within distance. Because he's already got 4X. Two targets to get the five still. Um, trying to find some control, but I okay. Because if Raymond does not win this and Sebastian wins it, then you know Sebastian has a decent chance to come away with the title. And he's close enough, you know, since he's got four X guaranteed. You know, with Raymond 5x guaranteed, you know, if, if Raymond has a really quick ball, it wouldn't take a whole lot of game time or ball time, you know, for Sebastian to pass him here. So Raymond's got to keep working. Nice dead bounce. Oh, he did time that wrong, but got oh away boy. with it. Got Ooh. away with it. Always scares me over there. Oh, always. He got out of there, though. Ooh. Still has the 10,000 for the I would go for the greatest um, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he has all those letters. Yeah, he's got all the letters. I mean, he, he's just hitting any right drop now target. You right now you take the collect because yeah. you've got your 100,000 plus there, yeah. Yeah. But on the, on the right flipper, the, the, the greatest was would have been worth, what, 80? Yeah. You the know. strategy, as far as I can tell, yeah, he's trying to glance up this left target bank, give him sort of safe feeds yeah. coming back, yeah. adds bonus, yeah. and has a chance to hit him even more up top. And those are worth a decent chunk of oh. points. Yeah, yeah, big collect. looks like it's going to so roll. So he's going to roll. He's going to roll it. So he He's the number one player in the world, according to IPA right now. That's what I heard. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Does he know that I'm 2954 in the world? I don't know if he knows me. We'll see. I mean, he knows you now. <laughs> I take that. I'd, I'd, have to, I'd have to look and see how long Ray has been number one now. Of course, the, you know, the, the COVID pause you know, artificially helped sure. that. Not, not that he wouldn't have stayed there anyway, probably. Oh, no. That's Whoa. Very deserving of the position. Interesting little grabby, you know, effect on that flipper tip there. Yeah. Most of the time, the rubber here hasn't been that grabby. Yeah, I feel like Keith has been playing with the flippers the most. You know, no tap passes and stuff, but he play, has a, play, playing with his food. Yeah, he has, yeah. He has subtle hits and subtle taps. 
It didn't work out for him on uh, Sinbad, but yeah, on again, here. he almost got too far ahead of that one. If, yeah, because again, if you swing early, you kill the momentum, and the ball can die out in the middle on you. Yeah. Yeah. So Sebastian, or sorry, Keith. Oh, so with yeah, some of Hey. There oh, there we go. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Okay. There we go. So I Sebastian, mean, uh, I can't. I did. But I'm assuming that Sebastian still has just four X. Because it looked like that's what it was counting down at the end of his right. last ball. You tell um, me, where else is someone going to stand so up and give you So basically, he's going to need, you know, uh, if he gets if he gets his bonus up to, say, 20 for 80000 each. Oh, poor Keith. Bye-bye again. So Keith's going to stick it, too. So Keith really has to root for Sebastian here. Yeah. And Zachary can still do something. Oh, yeah. He's at, he's at 3x. So that's not nothing. Well, this is Zachary right now. Zachary's at 3x. Oh, sorry, Zachary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sebastian, yeah. Sebastian's, yeah, he got the 4. Yeah, basically, at this point, Zachary's only choice is, you know, get to 5x and collect, like, half a dozen times. And yeah. It's definitely yeah. doable. Getting yeah. the 5x is the hard part. But once yeah, you get on those collect trains. Yep. So he's done. Ah, dicks. So now the big question is... Can Sebastian get his base bonus built up here to 20 plus, and then get enough collects to catch Raymond? Yeah, so he does have the 5x on. He's got, he's got five. Okay, he did advance it to 5x last ball. So, so where, be, where are we going to go pick up our base bonus? Yeah, is the question. A little play from the saucers helping out. Getting random points, but that's not advancing his bonus. Yeah, and he, he just wants these drop targets. Give me, give me right flipper shots and get it over there. Yeah. He's thinking, thinking. Going to take a moment of calm. He goes for the collect. He goes for the collect, yeah. yeah probably just because it's such a nice feed coming out. Cause, yeah, because oh. basically, yeah, just for the ball transfer. Right, it's a transfer it's, it's and... It's a transfer and points. And, and I get my money, Look out for yeah. the horseshoe. Okay, survives the horseshoe, but not no, the rebound. Not the rebound. That's just unlucky. Yeah. Okay, really. So Raymond is your winner. After winning the main tournament last time this was held three years ago, Raymond now wins the Classics tournament. So it's official. It is official. At least for the winner. But our other three players still need to play for second, third, and fourth. Was well, it Sebastian uh, rolled And that's it? interesting. No, yeah, Sebastian, Sebastian rolled it. Sebastian rolled it and Raymond rolled, rolled it. it. Okay. So yeah. that is a 1.3 million from Raymond. That's right. But the score is here. Okay, there will be no tiebreaker because it is 8-2-2-2. Two, two, two. So this decides it all. So this will be the last game of Classics. All right. Waiting for an update on the uh, scores there, but it will be on Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, and I, I would not want to have my tournament fate, to, uh, you know. Okay, no. it, it, you know, I mean, no. first is out of the way, but still second, third, and fourth is still a lot, you know, right, money, you and, money and whoppers and stuff, and I wouldn't want to have this Rolling Stones deciding that for me. Nope, no thanks. All right, there, uh, Collins helping out, getting all the orders decided and everything. Yep. Again, uh, last score uh, on the previous machine gets first order yep. of play. And, and, it, and it literally does not matter whether Raymond comes in first or last here. It's all how the other three do relative to each other. Yeah, and, and, and this is So Raymond, Raymond could plunge off if he felt like it, and it wouldn't matter. Right, he, his score has no effect on the outcome of this. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they, the... Uh, Nothing on Rolling Stone carry. There's no ball lock, anything like that. So yeah, yeah. It's, there's no stealing of any kind. There's no nothing going on for him. So and, I've, and I've I've got uh, something in the hopper. Some friends of mine are working on having a thieves my thieves tournament put together. <laughs> so we'll all all stealing games. Yeah, all stealing games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't able to put it together for uh, in disc, but somebody else is working on it. So that sounds fun. <laughs> yep. And it looks yep. like, yeah, this. Hey, if you if you if you don't if you can't play defense, then don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and finish what you started, right? Yep. Yeah. So. And, and we even have you know, like a modern or two you can put in there. TNA. Oh yeah, TNA's in. Yeah. For sure. You got a uh, roller games maybe? No. <laughs> it's wag. Sorcerer, taxi. There's there's a, a nice nice list. You gotta put sorcerer yeah. in. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, let's just talk about the positions real quick. Uh, this isn't Raymond's first time in this position, so it looks like he took first position to get out of the way. Um, if you're in a tournament and you're in an 8-2-2-2 situation, that is the friendly thing to do, is just take first, play take first player position because you don't want to be last player because then the game is already decided, but then you still have to play your ball free. And don't do that. <laughs> so he'll just, is he going to drain or is he going to play? Uh, we'll see. I mean... I, even no, it's it's Rolling Stone. Even if he plays, it's not going to take that oh, long. That's, <laughs> right. that's a good point. Yeah, he'll drain, but not by his choice, right? That's, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 knowing Ray, I think he'll play it out. But, um, yeah, we'll get to see some action there. Okay. Um, Colin's still sorting a few things. Tell, tell him I'll give him five bucks if he rolls Rolling Stone. <laughs> uh, I can go tell him that. Yeah. Are you going to? No, I think he already won 800 $60, so oh, yeah, he doesn't five, care much about really. the five, yeah. does he? Yeah. I mean, you got to up your ante there, Bob. <laughs> that was I mean, just for kicks. You, you got to bring it. <laughs> got to bring it. 